this session is uh, going to be jainism and other traditions kamini gogri ji is going to present on ravan the future jain tirthankara and dr alok kumar varma is going to talk about jainism and buddhism these two papers are going to be this session jainism and other traditions now i invite kamini gogri ji dr kamini vrajlal gogri ji is the recipient of kach shakti national award 2013 holds phd in philosophy especially jainism and avid marathon runner with uh, run india run her specialization includes consciousness studies mysticism bhakti prakrit buddhism jainism and shaivism she is currently a project consultant on the project jain philosophy jain prosopography at sovas jain center london she is also head of research in ancient scriptures at ekam residence foundation she is also an advisor consultant for an ott platform on jainism she is also an executive member of the scholars committee jainagam mission uva uh, sangraham sadhana trust she is on the board of the center for indian studies al zahara university tehran iran she has received the indic academy fellowship for 2020-21 she also is associated with german government for evolving interfaith based laws she is all she is involved with various projects with professor ann valley canada university of ottawa also a part of interfaith dialogue hwpl south korea as an expert on jainism she is visiting faculty of ma philosophy ma history at mumbai university india she has been invited to canada usa south korea uk belgium for conferences and lectures she has initiated the igniting mind foundation for youth leadership and works for women empowerment in rural india as a philosophical counselor she is uh, determined to bring out a much needed change in people especially in relation to emotional health and its relation to cognitive development her topic is ravana the future of tirthank future tirthankara your introduction mathen vandami all the gurujis who were present here uh, respected members of indic academy and uh, all my dear august audience who is really awake so thank you and uh, i will only take 10 minutes for my paper because neha sneha has said already half of my paper so uh, yes my paper was supposed to start with shalaka purushas uh, explaining who are the shalaka purushas and then explaining about ravana because uh, people are still even the jains are not aware that there is a jain ramayana and there is a jain mahabharata and let alone forget all the other uh, people of other religions so there is as there is a dashrath jataka in buddhism there is a, a sneha has already mentioned vimala suri's paumacharyam and then uh, trishashti shalaka purusha of hemchandra and then there are a few other works and already ramayana and mahabharat uh, whichever tradition you go there are retellings of it as i have heard somewhere ramayana mahabharat versions are retellings so i will quickly talk about ravana uh, my one of my his and what you can say his biography is from tishashti shalaka purusha written by him chandracharya 11th century uh, who is known as a kalikal sarvagna who was a spiritual master of king kumarpal um, in gujarat now ravana is the eighth prativasu deva and these were the figures who were present at the time of 20th tirthankara shri muni subrat swami uh, and of course they are uh, both the works are there in um, shwetabar and digambar both so you have works in prakrut you have works in sanskrit and you have works in upper branch literature talking about the uh, various versions within jainism also you have various retellings of ramayana and mahabharat so he is known as lankesh or dashamukha uh and jain uh, of course sneha is talk about trishashti shalaka purusha so uh, according to trishashti shalaka purush charitra 7.1 canto the mother of ravan is ratna shravas uh, his father is ratna shravas and his mother is kaikasi and uh, ratna shravas gave him the name dashamukha because his face was united with nine rubies ravan was elder uh, has elder two brothers bhanu karna and bibishana and a sister named chandra uh, nakha whom we know as the supernakha in the valmiki ramayan so of course uh, now 
what is so uh, uh, important about this uh, is just now how he attained the Tirthankar Nama Karma. Now, in every half cycle, you have, to, according to Jainism, there are 24 Tirthankaras. So, in one of the future Chobisis, uh, Ravan, who is currently in one of the Narakas, why? Because of his only one karma, which was abducting Sita. And for that reason, he is in Naraka. Otherwise, he, was a, he is a Vidyadara. Now, how does uh, Vimala Suri talk about Vidyadaras? Now, as Ra, uh, Ram is, uh, 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 what you can say, Vidyadara is one of the, uh, you can say, Rakshasas, according to Vimal Suri, were not meat-eating demons with fearful or hideous appearance, but they are a race of Vidyadaras, a class of beings endowed with many supernatural qualities. Their appearances and behavior is not beastly, uh, but they are highly, what you can say, civilized beings who have special powers, and they follow the vow of Ahimsa. And uh, Vanaras, as described by Vimalasuri, are not, uh, as we know from, uh, from Paumacharyam, that they are also a class of, uh, what you can say, a class of, a uh, special class of beings who have special powers. So, uh, the Vidyadaras of Kishkindapur received the name Vanara because of their custom of wearing the picture of Vanara as a symbol on their banners and crowns. So, Ravan's mother hangs around his neck a wondrous necklace of Ratnas, where Ravan's place is reflected nine times, hence Dashamukha. Now, there is a story which says that Ravan and Mandodri were flying to Astapada because they were worshipping Rushabdeva, the first Tinthankara, and they were completely devoted to Rushabdeva. While flying there, there was a Muni Bali whom they did not pay respect. He was furious, he was angry, and uh, so there was some dispute, uh, there was, uh, the dispute had happened over there. And Ravan uprooted the whole mountain with the intent to throw it into the ocean. Bali, with his knowledge, came to know this, and with the idea of protecting the temple, pressed the mountain with his toe. Because of the unbearable pressure, Ravan started crying and begged for pardon. Thereafter, he proceeded to uh, Ashtapad, and over there, after forgetting this whole incident, Ravan immersed completely. Of course, he flied in his Vimana, and uh, he uh, 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 to worship Rushabdev, he started playing the Veena, and Mandodri started dancing. Now, they were so immersed in Bhakti that it so happened that the Veena on which the Ravan was playing, that Veena, the string of that Veena broke. So he pulled out the vein from his arm and made a string from the vein of his arm and put to the veena so that Mandodri's dance or the immersion of the bhakti should not break. The flow of her bhakti or her dancing should not break. And this is the reason for which he attained the Tirthankar Nama Karma. And therefore, in the future, Ravan will be one of the uh, uh, you can say Tirthankara as mentioned in the Trishashti Shalaka Purusharitra by Hemachandra. So uh, Vidyadharas is, Vidyadhara means they have some special powers and because of that special power, he removed that vein and he made the string of that veena and therefore he, uh, was, he continued his bhakti along with his uninterrupted flow with the bhakti of uh, helping Mandodri also so that she also did not break her bhakti. So, Tirthankar Nama Karma, there are some special ways of which you worship, uh, worship or you do some kind of bhakti or some kind of charity where that Nama Karma is attached to you. Now, Nama Karma is one kind of a body, body formation, like whatever we, go, we get our bodies is because of the Nama Karma. There are eight kinds of karmas. One, four which are directly connected to your soul, which malign your soul, and four which are connected to your body, like body-making karma, your lifespan karma, your hurdles which come into your life, and that which you attain some kind of morally upgraded status or degraded status. 
सो तीर्थंकर नाम कर्म इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नाम कर्म बाय विच यू अटेन दैट काइंड ऑफ अ बॉडी विच इज कंड्यूसिव टू द हाइएस्ट काइंड ऑफ मेडिटेशन एंड दैट ओनली रेयरली विट इज अटेन एवरी हाफ साइकल देफ ओर यू हैव ओनली ट्वेंटी फोर तीर्थंकर एंड ऑफकोर्स देर आर अदर तीर्थंकर इन अदर मेटावर्स एज वी इन टू डेज टर्म्स इफ यू यूज द मेटावर्स और पैरल यूनिवर्स एज यू से सो दैट्स अ so ravan now if i give you the example that mahavir swami in one of his previous birth nay sir he gave all his skill to a monk who were passing because his mother had told him that do not eat the food without giving to a guest or a monk so what and he was a trader in his previous birth one of the previous births so he fully gave the khir with full devotion and because of that devotion when he is giving that khir to that monk he got the tirthankar naam karma similarly ravan so that amount of bhakti where you are completely become ego less at that point of time and you immerse into that devotion and he gave that pain which he underwent for which he attained the tirthankar naam karma so that highest kind of body he will attain when his fruit when that karma will ripen and in future birth he will become one of the tirthankaras not the number which i know about but he is definitely going to become it is mentioned in the trishasti shalaka purusha so this is ravan a class of vidyadhar beings this is what now just as uh, about the ram you were mentioning that if you compare ram uh, he has many wives in uh, in the jain tradition and hanuman also has many wives and it is not that uh, uh ravan produces the voice of lakshman to mislead ram to abduct sita so it is not the golden deer but uh, taking the voice of lakshman and people of ayodhya approach ram and declare to him the scandals about sita afraid of infamy ram abandons sita this is all about uh, vimal suris pomacharyam Ram orders his general Krutavandana to abandon Sita in forest. Then uh, she takes shelter in Vajragana, the king of Pundarika Pura, and he looks after her as a sister. Where she gives birth to the twins Anagalavana and Madana Kusha. Ram, uh, sorry, Narada inspires the twins to defeat Ram and finally asks them to salute their father. Sita becomes a Jain sadhvi. So this is just a glimpse of the Jain version, or Vimal Suri's Paumacharyam. Uh, the, uh, what is the difference between Valmiki Rama and as we all know? So I think I will end over here uh, because uh, this was a short paper about just bringing uh, version of Rama and uh, Ravan, the future Tirthankar. Thank you so much. Thank you, especially for taking very short. like the valmiki ramayan follows the puranic narrative okay because in multiple universes for example utsarpani and avasarpani kalas are divided into aras so at uh, in some other universe different aras or different events will be happening so is there any mention of what happens in like in uh, ramcharit manas we have i think kak bhushundi who uh has seen many different uh, versions of rama and uh, i uh, there's also this mention in puranic narrative when a ring falls into the nether world and also uh, uh, krishna this mention of multiple indras so i was just wondering uh, that was my question in jain 
no this uh, scriptures traditions uh, this is hinduism there buddhism jainism is there only in this world yeah, yeah. <laughs> in other world you don't have such no, a, uh, yeah. this but uh, the in another uh, say in uh, in in mahavidyashitra which is another metaverse as i say there it is just described that always there will be 20 tirthankaras present at a time always a tirthankar will be present because the time is conducive for liberation always <coughs> as here it was there during the time of mahavira 2600 years ago uh, which was the fourth era according to the jain uh, tradition but not uh, these uh, kinds of uh, you know interpretations that there you will have uh, hindu or jain versions no 